Well, what's been great for us is we, we, we primarily invest on the private side. And so what you've seen this past year has been uh, a, a major correction in the industry, both on the public side and on the private side. Having said that, I think that uh, we've been stating all along that we think that, that we've hit the bottom. Uh, I think that the regulatory agencies of the larger states, California in particular, are getting the message that uh, more effective regulatory uh, efforts along with reduced taxation on the companies that are doing this the right way um, will lead to a tamping down of the black market. But until that happens, the black market's going to thrive and you will have situations where uh, the companies that are, that are public right now are being judged on pathways to profitability and not just license aggregation like they were uh, you know, year, year and a half ago. We have, found, the, we have found in California, for example, that regulations have been so stringent or confusing that uh, many small companies trying to, uh, to you know, get involved in the recreational pot market have found it uh, very difficult to comply with some of these regulations. And that, in part, is the reason that the black market has still flourished there. Are we overdoing the, the regulatory framework when we're trying to allow an industry to grow at the same time? I, you're absolutely spot on. I mean, but, but, the, but the, what states like California need to realize that reduced taxation is the main problem here. If we can get lower tax rates on the companies that, are, again, are doing this legally in the right way, uh, then you will have a lot more companies be successful and you'll have a tamping down of the black market. But until then, the black market has right. no reason to go away. Yeah. They're just going to continue to do this until they get caught. By the same token, though, are we being too impatient expecting these stocks to re provide a return when, let's face it, this is going to take a while to get various governments, state governments, provincial governments to accept uh, legalized recreational marijuana, you know, it's not likely we're going to hear anything on the federal level for quite some time. So uh, it, it'll live, happen eventually, I guess, but we just have to be patient with it, right? I think you're right. And it's both on the public and the private side. You have to realize that without institutional investors uh, in, the, in, the pub, in, the, in the public game, you've got a lot of, of, of retail investors that don't have that patience. And so I think that as and, and, and more institutional players are starting to realize that this is an undeniable industry. It's not going away. Mm -hmm. And it's just taking a longer time to convert the illicit market into the legalized one. But as that happens, this industry is, is going to thrive on the on the legal side. And, and we do need more regulation at, a, at the federal level, the, the House passing the uh, the Safe Banking Act was a, was a big step in the right direction, but, you know, we, we, we have some, uh, some wood to chop left on some other pieces of legislation that are coming down the pike. Very quickly, I think one of the biggest hurdles the industry faces is the banking industry itself and this legal limbo they find themselves in where banks don't want to do business with them because it's still illegal federally. How do, will they get around that? Can they get around that? And where do you see that going? We've got 47 uh, companies in our portfolio across three different funds and, and, and co-investments. Every single one of them have a banking relationship. Uh, it, just is, it just isn't easy. Uh, it will get easier. But I got to tell you, this is we are as excited as we've ever been about investing in the industry, as are our limited partners. And we think 2020 is going to be a fantastic year to take advantage of the opportunities that have been, like I said earlier, brought back down to a more realistic level. Well, we will see.